Okay, I gave in. I bought the Mofi keyboard. In an attempt to bring joy back to my drab work-at-home situation, I found myself splurging on online shopping, especially on all things kawaii, aka cute. I blame it on TikTok, where I recently found myself in a black hole of all things cute and quirky. What is it about these clunky, colorful, clicky keyboards, better known as mechanical keyboards, that I've been seeing in almost every Instagrammable, uh, TikTokable desk setup? I don't know, but I fell. Hook, line, and sinker. There are plenty of brands to choose from, with all sorts of keyboard designs and colorful combos, but after reading a zillion reviews, I went for Mophie. They have Mophie Candy M in brown, pink, green, milk tea. Mophie Candy BT Wireless in white, green, pink. Mophie Honey BT in black, green, blue, and pink. Mophie 666 in purple, gray, black, red, blue, green, pink, plus so many more choices. Some keyboards come with a mouse, while some don't. Some come with free stickers for you to decorate the keyboard, some don't. I narrow down my choices to the following. Candy XR Blue, Candy Light Blue, and Honey BT Wireless in Blue. Oh, obviously my favorite color is blue. <laughs> Here's the thing, whenever I look at a Mophie keyboard on Lazada and Shopee, there's a long disclaimer that says, as Mophie USB 2.4G wireless wired keyboards are not perfectly compatible with Apple OS system, dot dot dot. <sighs> As a Mac Apple user, this is a deal breaker for me. Most of the reviews I found on YouTube are from PC users. As for the few Mac users, they didn't say much about the performance. They simply glushed on how cute and fun it is to type on the Mopi. So what's a MacBook user like me to do? If you read further down the disclaimer, this is what they suggested for Mac users. If you want it to work on Apple system, Mac, iPad, iPhone perfectly, please choose Mofi Bluetooth keyboard, which is 888BT, Candy BT, Honey BT, Phoenix, and Lush's Red. Thank you. Also, I spoke to a few Mac user friends who do have a Mofi keyboard. They told me there's an issue with the keyboard's compatibility with Mac's interface, especially with the F keys. They told me that most Mophie keyboards are built with the keys elevated, so if you're used to typing fast with your flat MacBook keyboard, it's a huge adjustment. As a writer who types faster than the speed of talk and has been using a Mac since 2004, that's another deal breaker. So I decided to go for the Honey BT Wireless in blue. Unfortunately, it does not come with a mouse or free stickers. Boo! But the price tag is slightly cheaper. The Mofi Candy keyboard with mouse and stickers goes from $1499 to $2099 each, while the Honey BT is $1399. I got mine from Fantasy eLife on Lazada. They're one of the official distributors of Mofi in the Philippines. The Mofi Honey BT was originally $1399, but because I had a 500 peso Lazada voucher from my Globe Points, the price went down to $899 plus free shipping. Woohoo! Now off to the unboxing. These days, what good is unboxing an online purchase if you can't use the hashtags aesthetic, ASMR, cute, kawaii, and all the other trending TikTok hashtags that have lured me into buying things that I don't really need in life? After removing the bubble wrap, there's a brown corrugated Mophie box, which, upon opening, reveals the actual boxed Mophie product. Plus points for the double box. ASMR. But now I have to go back to talking normally. First impressions. Cute packaging, cute honeycomb keyboard design. The keyboard is small and compact, almost the same length as my 13-inch MacBook. It comes with two free AAA batteries, but I'm not really a fan of batteries these days as I'm trying to lessen my e-waste. I wonder why they couldn't make a rechargeable keyboard. Anyway, the keys of the Mofi Honey BT are flatter than your usual clunky, clicky keyboard, but still not as flat as the MacBook keyboard. 
If, like me, you've been using a MacBook since 2004, it's a huge adjustment, but more on that later. It's fairly easy to sync with your MacBook. Just turn on your MacBook's Bluetooth. Turn on your Mofi keyboard by pressing the BT key on the upper rightmost part. Wait for the red light to blink. Wait for the keyboard assistant to pop up and just follow the easy instructions. After that, whenever you need to use your keyboard, just turn on the Mac's Bluetooth. Wait for your Mac's Bluetooth to automatically sync with the Mofi keyboard. Or, if that doesn't work, turn on your Bluetooth preferences, turn on your Mofi keyboard by pressing the BT key, and sync! It works the same with your iPad or iPhone. As I said earlier, I've been using Mac since 2004. And as a writer, I type really fast, even with my eyes closed. But this Mophie keyboard really tested my patience. My fingers kept snagging on the other keys, I kept pressing the wrong keys, and it was honestly frustrating for me to work. It slowed me down. So I decided that whenever I have a major deadline that needs my fast typing fingers, I'll just revert back to my MacBook's built-in keyboard. But when it's a light, casual day of no deadlines and just browsing, then I'll use my Mophie keyboard. Well, it's been four weeks since I started using my Mophie, and it's not as frustrating to type on. My fingers kind of adjusted after two weeks, but I still don't type as fast as I want and can, <laughs> and I still prefer using my MacBook's built-in keyboard whenever I have a deadline that needs fast typing or whenever I'm editing photos, sounds, and videos on programs such as Photoshop and Lightroom. Oh, and I have to say this to Mac users who are considering purchasing a Mophie BT Honey, the biggest lie is that it's 100% compatible with Mac. Well, it's not! The F keys do not, I repeat, do not function properly. If you're a Mac user, you'll know that the F keys have very specific uses. As for using the Mac's command key, you'll have to press the Mophie's win key. It's been a month and I'm still confused with the Mophie's control, win, and alt keys. Sometimes I find myself switching from Mophie to Mac keyboard for quick functions I can't find on the Mophie and it can get really confusing! <gasps> also, I cannot stand that I always mistake the arrow up key for the shift key. In Mac, the shift key is located after the question mark key. But with the Mophie, the arrow up is placed after the question mark key while the shift key is after that. It's so frustrating to adjust to. And since the Mophie BT is not 100% Mac compatible as they say it is, I kinda regret choosing this over the other keyboards. I should have just purchased my first choice, the Mophie Candy, which came with a matching mouse and stickers. Oh well, I'm not saying that I hate my Honey BT. I like it. It's just that it wasn't my first choice. I just went for this because they told me that among all the Mophie keyboards, this would be 100% compatible with Mac. Too bad it's not. <sighs> More tips from this Mac user. 1. Before you buy a Mophie or other cute keyboards online, make sure it's compatible with your computer and that the keyboard layout is something you can live with before you add to cart. 2. I'm assuming that since all Mophie keyboards are not 100% compatible with Mac, then just purchase a design and color you really want. The F keys won't work anyway. 3. Clicky or mechanical keyboards are trending because people seem to enjoy the ASMR factor, aka the clicky sound. Some even find it therapeutic. But if you're going on a Zoom meeting, please note that not everyone will enjoy hearing you take down notes with your clicky keyboard. In fact, I have colleagues who find them annoying. So please, mute to yourself or use your more quiet keyboard for online meetings with other people. 4. I feel that it's too pricey for a keyboard. I'm glad I got a 500 peso discount voucher because I would not pay 1,500 to 2,000 plus pesos for a keyboard that's made of a light plastic material, uses AAA batteries, is not rechargeable, and is not fully compatible with my MacBook. But hey, the batteries do last. I've been using the Mophie keyboard for a month now, and I have not drained the batteries just yet. There are several mechanical keyboard brands to choose from, like Yunzi, Lofree, Weilong, and many more, so make sure you've done your research before purchasing. As for me, I like how my Mophie spruces up my work-from-home aesthetic. 
soon, it looks like remote working is going to last a little longer, so it doesn't hurt to purchase desk items that look and sound good. If you want to purchase your own Mophie Honey BT keyboard, click my links to Shopee, Lazada, and Amazon below. Thanks for watching Kate Was Here! Subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Ciao for now!